right. We are joined by Hilary Davis. She lived for 15 years in France. I'm pretty jealous, I think. <laughs> You're in Hancock now, which yes. is lovely. But yes. you, this is the second book My that second you... My second cookbook, yep. French have, Comfort Food. French Comfort Food. And yeah. how did you become so enamored with uh, French cooking? I don't know. From 15 years old, I love France. I became a Francophile. And um, we found a way to move over there. My husband and I lived there for 15 years and um, learned all the recipes and catered and came back and wrote cookbooks. So this is my second cookbook, French Comfort Food. That's wonderful. Which is perfect for this weather. Yes, and you're making... Um, <gasps> Today we're, I'm making Aligo. Aligo. Which is sort of, it's a dish you'd be hard pressed to find in a restaurant, even in France. But this is what the French cook in the middle of France in the winter. They love it. It's mashed potatoes. With a that lot should of cheese, be tons right? of cheese and cream, and it should be very elastic like this. Uh huh. So I started it for you, um, but the basic idea is you have mashed potatoes and lots of butter, and then you put in a cup of cream. I've already put in some hot because you want it to melt the cheese for you. And what kind of cheese do you use in this? I use um, really sharp cheddar, white cheddar, but in France they use Cantal, but it's hard to find here. What is Cantal? What it, is is it like soft, a cheddar? It, um, yeah, but it's softer. It's almost like a mozzarella, but it has good flavor. And then here I use what we have mm -hmm. in the supermarket. So, I get, um, so you put in a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese, and don't worry because this is a side dish, so it's not really fattening. You just eat a little bit. Well, it is a little fattening, right? But, yes. but we're not going to eat too but much. I'm of burning it. up calories. <laughs> I know. Now, I think French cooking. Look, I think a lot look. of people are intimidated by I think, French cooking. You know, that's look at how luscious it is. Do you want to try some? Well, sure. Why not? Um, it's the reason that I wrote that book. This because I think people have gotten away from. What French cooking is, is mm -hmm. it's, they think it's precious and fussy and hard to do and expensive, and it's not. And it's it's not. more from home. It's what grandma right. used to make. And, and so we think of it also sometimes of being a little bit on the high calorie side, but if you look at French people, they don't look like the French <laughs> women are thin. They are very thin. They're very thin, and I was thin when I lived there. But um, um, just like Julia Child, you're kind of breaking it down for people, right? I'm trying to bring Julia back. Mm -hmm. I think. French cooking all across France, um, every day, people are cooking real food, home right. cooking, what grandma made, what mom made. Um, and so the French are also very economical, they're famous for that. So the, every recipe in this book is what they make every day for their families on a budget. Yeah, well, so it's scary. very um, homey cooking. Yeah, and good for cold weather like today. Yeah. And we appreciate yeah. you bringing in the book. Thank and you for uh, me. Did thanks you like for it? coming in. It's delicious. <laughs> it is very good. So thank you for coming good. in. Thank you. And we will be right back. <laughs> <laughs>